Hi, welcome to the Pure and Clean Podcast, episode number 20. My name is Ramo, and today we're going to do another retrospective. Hi guys, so it's time, it's episode number 20. It's time to think back about everything that's been going on with Pure and Clean. So I'll try and keep it brief. Uh, I apologize if you can hear my neighbors, they're having a party. Uh, maybe I should go crash it. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, first of all, uh, we got a new member. Uh, so we underwent a very intense, on, <laughs> I think, and on my part, uh, uh, recruitment drive of which we got our newest member, Tar. We will be posting his information on the website very soon, if not already, by the time you see this video. Uh, Tar, if you're watching this video, we're very excited to have you uh, and we look forward to playing with you in the verse. Second thing of note is uh, we're very excited about Star Citizen. Um, the next few weeks, if not months, depending on how delayed things are, uh, we'll see the coming of 2.5 and then 2.6 and then 2.7 which means that uh, we will finally have the trading mechanic which means really good things for our org. Uh, in terms of like having an actual active player base I think we're getting there. Um, it, I think uh, by the time 2.7 comes around we will be set. So now it's time to set up some of our processes in a, a little bit more solid fashion so that we're good to go. Um, we have been focusing on uh, establishing relationships with other Star Citizen organizations. We have done quite well. We joined uh, Cognition Corp, which is an organization that is focused on um, providing resources for the smaller orgs like ours. And uh, it's been going well so far. They're a great bunch of people. So if you have a very small Star Citizen organization, uh, or, or you know, small to medium size, I, I think they actually have a cap, but I don't know the number. Um, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you check out Cognition Corp. Uh, this is uh, my advertisement and payback video to them. And uh, a few things, uh, I am, uh, going to be canceling out the uh, subscription video. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I have a MailChimp account of which I send out the podcast ahead of time. Uh, I used to send it out in written format and then that was too time consuming. And now I just send out the video a few days. Well, for the last few episodes, I have been a little bit behind on sending out the actual email to the subscribers and uh, it also poses some complications because on YouTube I cannot post a video uh, in scheduled. I have to post it unlisted so that I can send it to the subscribers on the MailChimp uh, uh, campaign and uh, it actually uh, makes it a little bit more time consuming than it needs to be. So I'm gonna ax it. Uh, I, I really want to thank everybody that subscribed to the mailing list um, I will be letting you ahead of time when I actually kill it and um, I will be looking for your feedback if you have any and I apologize uh, for canceling that. I know that the mailing list is actually used in a few other places such as uh, right after you uh, submit an application for the Pure and Clean uh, uh, organization or company. Um, but I'll just have to figure out another way to let people know when we actually sell fuel. Um, that's it guys, I can't think of anything else. I just wanted to thank you very much for your continuing uh, subscription to the channel, for your thumbs up and for your comments. Um, as always, Appear and Clean Podcast is a uh, Star Citizen organization focused on the business side of the verse. Uh, if you want to check us out, please do. We are at pureandclean.com. Thanks, guys. You ask them, how do you work through hard problems uh, or challenges for the organization?
What's a good answer? We set up a meeting and discuss everything on our Discord channel and communicate the proposal to the entire organization. What's a red flag answer? We don't get everyone involved, only those that need to know are involved or only those that are online when we had the issue, uh, they resolve it and then we don't really tell the rest of the group, it's just resolved for them.